Hello Lilas, welcome back to my channel guys. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And if you're not a part of the channel membership, it is a paid membership. We call it the Chatterbox. It is $1.99 to join and you do have to be at least 18 years old. Um, I do monthly exclusive live streams in the Chatterbox. Also, sometimes I drop videos or behind the scenes, just my daily what's going on type thing um, in the on the community tab for the Chatterbox. Other than that, I do have merch. I haven't updated my merch lately, um, but hopefully I'll get to that. Um, so right now, as you guys may know, um, I am painting up a lot of my kits, well, all of my kits that, my vinyl kits that's in my inventory to go ahead and uh, finish out my inventory, my reborn inventory. And so I'm selling them all at very discounted prices for, well, there will be a few that may not be totally discounted, discounted, but most of them will be discounted heavily. Um, my ball babies normally sell for $800 ball. I've been... The last one I listed for like four seventy five, so that just kind of give you an idea of what I've been doing. Um, they're not gonna come with like major box openers, which my other babies don't really come with like major box openers anyway, because I I just I'm just not into the fancy things. Um, I mean some of my more like expensive babies, like uh, the silicones and stuff like that. Then yeah, they do come with. A little bit more than the average reborn baby but anyway nevertheless um i am here to show my babies that you guys don't get to see that often these this is my personal collection this is collect babies that i've collected from other artists within the community um because i too support other artists work and so i buy from other artists as well um, because I love their work and I appreciate them um, just as well pe as people appreciate my work and appreciate me. Um, so, okay. So, all right. We're going to start. We're going to go left to right. Yeah. I'm going left to right. So, Baby Blessing is the Levi by Bonnie Brown, painted by Patricia Reborn Babies. I've had him probably about at least four years. Um, at least four years. Um, he is a forever baby for me. Very special, sentimental baby. Um, I think Patricia does an amazing job on her reborning. Um, he has lots of detail, veining, mottling, um, the discoloration, the very newborn -y color. His rooting is beautiful. He's just all, of, all around just an amazing baby. I really love him. Um, and he was also a gift, um, a surprise gift at that. And so he will definitely always mean a lot to me. But even if he wasn't a gift, I would have kept him um, in my collection. So that's Baby Blessing and his little story. Then we have Jersey Poo. And Jersey is the Jude Sculpt by Oka R. And he is reborn by Asha from Pickles and Tea. He is my sweet, 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 um, hold on. <sighs> he's, he's my sweet chocolate baby and I absolutely love him. He's amazing. Um, me and Asha at one point was doing business together. Um, uh, and so it was really cool. The experience was fun and I really, really, um, am happy and Glad that I was able to keep one of her creations in my collection. And he is also a forever baby that will not leave my collection. Um, for me, with this baby, his face is just amazing. Like, I really, really love the painting in his face. Look at him. He's just so gorgeous. I love him. I love, every, I love the way she did him as far as his face, his lips, his... I mean... I just, I wouldn't change anything with his face at all. Um, so he's gorgeous. Eventually, one day, I will probably get him rooted. But he's actually beautiful bald. And I I put him on cute little hats a lot of times. But to be honest, I love him even without a hat on. So 
he's perfectly okay for me. And so let's move on. And then I have Austin and Austin is the new guy in the bunch. And he is the, oh my God, uh, the Steven Realborn, which is crazy because he's the only Realborn that I have in my collection. Um, I do have a few that I plan on painting, which I don't typically collect Realborns, but I absolutely love his sweet face. I love him. Um, again, he's another one that is, I'm more into the face than anything. Um, the way that the artist put so much detail and newborny stuff in his face. I just love it. Um, his hair is beautifully rooted as well. Um, I love his hands and his feet. Um, it's just, you know, so I really, really love all of them. And, you know, I don't, I don't like treat my babies differently according to what I paid for them. Um, because... I don't collect based off of price. I collect based off of my emotions, what do I like, what I'm drawn to, you know, just the energy and the vibe that I get off of the art itself. Um, I feel like art is a big emotion. It's like, it's just an emotional roller coaster. I think when artists paint, it's very emotional. I think when we collect, it's very emotional. So this hobby is very, very, like, you know, it's a, it's, it's a, uh, what uh, 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 I don't know. It's just crazy. But so therefore, I don't be like, oh, I'm going to put this one on this kind of clothes or I'm going to do this with this one because I paid X, Y, Z for them. You know, they all wear Carters. They all wear, you know, fancy clothes occasionally. It just don't matter because I love them all the same. And I, I mean, look at them. They're all under the same light and they still all look fabulous together. Um, all different from free to, you know, up to, you know, two grand or so. That's the price range right here. And you know what? They all, to me, are very special babies. So I think art is just a personal thing. And, you know, there's no such thing as perfection when it comes to art, not handmade art. Um, but I think they, I, 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 I would venture to say that these particular babies, I don't know. I really, <laughs> they're, they're, you know, they're pretty close, you know. I, I think as far as the neatness go and stuff like that, it's just so much. And it's so much that, you know, I get from other people's art versus my own. I love my own work as well. But I know that there is other great artists out here and better artists out here. And, you know, ours, I should say more skilled artists or whatever have different techniques. I mean, it's just, you know, we have our unique styles and that's what makes us us and what makes us, you know, draw in certain crowds. Like we all have our, our, our fan base. So it's pretty cool. Um, but I just wanted to share that. And so also, hopefully it kind of shed a little light on a lot of people that, um, I hear this all the time and every so often it comes back up again where, you know, a lot of newbies or, you know, people that don't collect like super, super expensive dolls feel like they are shaded. They feel like, you know, people don't think their dolls are worth, you know, as much or they're not as important or, you know, people don't stop and like their pictures because it's not by XYZ artists or so. Um... I, I think, you know, we put a, a little too much weight on what other people think of us and think of our collection versus what we think because it's really, at the end of the day, it's our money. And a lot of times on camera, video, these babies don't quite translate the way that they actually look in person. I've seen some very high-end babies that I know for a fact the work on those babies is amazing. And the collectors take the pictures and they look like they're like $200 dolls. So if you don't know anything about the hobby or you don't know anything, you are quick to say, oh my God, like, I mean, why would they pay that much? It's all the same. That's because you're not seeing it in person and vice versa. There are some, some babies that look great. The coloring look amazing and in person is very choppy and 
cruddy and it just don't look as good and you're like oh man I love that one that's the best artist that artist is better than so and so so to just like be like so gung-ho on things that we have not seen in person it is um it it can really I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, just just be happy with your collection and what you like. If you love it, then that's that. But sometime I'll be honest though, sometime when people make comments, if it if it's any truth to it, it taps into something, a trigger into to you and you're like, "Yeah, it is horrible actually." <laughs> and then you're like, "I don't want it no more." Um but yeah. So, anyway, I am, like I said, I'm, I'm thankful for being able to collect from multiple artists. I do have other artists work in my collection as well. Some is more private. Um, but these are babies that you guys don't get to see that often. And I just thought it would be nice to show them. And I'm a boy mom. So I definitely have more boys than anything. And I tend to always paint babies and say they're boys. But by all means, these babies can be turned into girls if you really... <laughs> I guess if you really wanted to. Um, Austin was supposed to be a girl actually, but I I couldn't see girl. Um, so there, there you have it. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing these babies again. Again, that's Baby Blessing, Jersey, and Austin. See you guys later. Bye-bye.